Hello friends and welcome to this new Terraform scenario based question series. This is the part 9 and my name is Alok Kumar and today we are going to discuss on the new scenario based questions. You can see the real time interview question series. So the question is you want to deploy a Terraform configurations that creates an Amazon RDS database instance in a VPC with a specific subnet group security group and parameter group so this is the questions if you refer my previous scenario based question where we are creating the amazon rdb rds database but in this questions there is a little bit twist the twist is that they want to me to use a specific subnet group in a particular vpc and the security group also needs to be defined and the parameter group as well if they ask you or they add a one statement in this questions then that questions will be very easy for you but these questions with whatever the context they provided it's a little bit twist the twist is like let's make it simple if I add one more statement here that how can you ensure that the VPC subnet group security groups and parameter groups are created before the RDS instance is created. Now the things will be easy because you have one key point here that before the RDS instance is created means before creating the RDS instance the creations of VPC subnet group security groups parameter group all thing will exist before creating the RDS instance because we are going to use it so which parameter we are going to use for creation of the VPC so you know that in Terraform you can use the depends on parameter to specify dependency between the resources the depends on parameter allow you to specify that one resource depends on the others which means that the Terraform will create the dependent resource only after the dependency has been created you got my point so here the steps you can take to ensure that the VPC subnet groups security groups and the parameter groups are created before the RDS instance this is the twist so one liner of text that I included from my side is missing and the missing part makes it a difficult to understand. So it's not like that you create the VPC first and then a specific subnet group. No, because VPC have the dependency on these things. Sorry, the RDS instance have the dependency on the VPC subnet group, security groups all these things so we first need to create the vpc subnet group security groups and the parameter group for that we need to use the appropriate terraform resources to create the vpc subnet group security groups as well as the parameter groups okay so if you look into the screens i created a uh, a vpc first we define the local whatever the local my my vpc in my case the cider block we defined it which ip uh, blocks to use for the whole VPC okay then the resource is AWS underscore DB underscore subnet underscore groups and that this is my local name my subnet group okay and the name we can define accordingly subnet ID we can define it okay and the resource group my SG we provided a name and which uh, VPC we use the, the which we created before okay so you can see that here the vpc id is the vpc of the of the resources that we created and the aws underscore db underscore parameter group my db group so it's have the name and the family as well so that we can when we create the rds instance we can link all these things in the depends on okay depends on parameters okay so when we create the rds instance here so you can see when we create the rds we have the identifier we we all already seen all these things in my previous scenario based questions here we define the group 
but the main important thing is the depends on okay where we defining the vpc my vpc okay from here we created we linked it and the subnet groups subnet groups it's created here okay and the security groups we created here so before creating the rds we created accordingly these item first so this is the twist in this way they make the uh, the questions complicated and you have to understand it because this question say that with vpc with a specific subnet security groups and the parameter that you have to use so it must be created before okay so by this uh, example the depends on parameter is used to uh, specify the aws underscore db underscore instance this one resource depend on the vpc aws vpc okay aws subnet groups aws security groups and the parameter groups okay this ensures that the terraform will create these resources before creating the rds instance so these are the steps that you have to follow so that you can ensure that the vpc subnet group security group and parameter groups are created before the rds instance is created which ensures that the your rds instance is created with the correct configurations and all the dependencies are available before creating the rds instance so hope you like my videos if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do subscribe it because i keep uh, on uh, uploading these types of video time to time okay share it with your friends your community whatever the group you belongs to share the channel links and make a good environment for the learning because i am also a learner each day i am learning new new things and i am sharing with you guys okay so uh, gives a like to this video this always motivate me and keep sharing uh, this channel link to your friends to your groups and whatever the community which you belongs to okay thanks for watching this video have a nice day